Well, welcome back in what has been a very dangerous afternoon and evening of travel across the region. We have reports of numerous accidents across the region because of this blowing snow event. Three, four below, seven in your first forecast. That bitterly cold Arctic air moving in. The next shot of it is moving in today and will be with us the next couple of days. But blowing snow is going to continue to be a problem into tonight until the winds finally start to let up as we head into tomorrow morning. Bitterly cold through Saturday, and then it is going to be so much better as we get into next week. But we have to get through what's going on right now. We have snow squall warnings in south central, southeastern Nebraska, including Lincoln and Beatrice, even Superior. These will run till 530 and 6 o'clock. And again, we don't get a lot of these, okay? But what it is, it's a burst of snow. You know, they don't last terribly long. But we've got very strong winds with it, and all of a sudden you get whiteout conditions. And I mean, it can go from decent visibility to whiteout in a matter of minutes, if not shorter than that, with these kind of conditions. The, the wind is just blowing the snow all over the place. So here's what's falling out of the sky. We do have a little bit of snow that's working through southwest Nebraska. But really, for a lot of us, the snow that's falling is coming to an end. Even in the far eastern part of the state, we're seeing the snow start to clear Lincoln, or beginning to. But now we have to deal with what's left behind, which is a fresh layer of an inch or so of snow, very dry, powdery snow, on top of a snowpack, with north winds gusting 45 to 50. Hastings had a nearly 60 mile per hour gust with this initial push of the cold air and the wind. So this is going to continue to be a problem for the next several hours and travel is going to continue to be difficult in a lot of areas. You'll notice visibility essentially from the Tri-Cities eastward right along the interstate a mile or less. So we've got some pretty difficult travel conditions there and that's why the winter weather advisory now including Kearney and the Tri-Cities is going to last until about 6 a.m. tomorrow morning because there will continue to be the issue of blowing snow. And then we also have our wind chill advisory. We actually have one tonight. We have one tomorrow night. And that will be for feels like temps of around 25 to 30 below in a lot of areas as this bitterly cold air moves in. Many of us are now down into the single digits. Six in Ord and Broken Bow. Eight in Hastings. Fifteen in McCook. And with those winds, it's, it, it feels awfully tough out there. Skies are clearing though. And your Friday will be mainly sunny. It is just going to be absolutely frigid yet again low temps tonight for most of us are going to be dropping down around five to six degrees below zero feels like temps tomorrow morning you know could be 25 to 30 below and highs tomorrow only in the single digits to low teens it will get a little bit worse before it gets better saturday a high of seven after starting out at 14 below but then it does get better <laughs> Even Sunday is going to feel great compared to Saturday, even though it will be breezy. But next week, those temps in the 30s will be much improved. That Very welcome. Is the first time. It's like we're climbing uh, out of this despair. Finally. We're getting there. But again, very dangerous conditions out there in a lot of regions because of that blowing snow. Really came on quick this afternoon. We've had a lot of accidents reports, so please be careful. Are we thinking even if you're driving within town? Because I'm just thinking oh, this is where traditional shifts are ending right now. There have, been, be there have been reports in Grand Island and Hastings of extremely low visibility. So all across the board, be careful. And do you just sit, stay at work and wait it out or you don't that know? Would be